As you work more and more with PHP programming, eventually you have a need for looping. Let's talk about the two most common types of looping mechanisms, the first of which is a for loop. With a for loop, we know the number of times that we need to execute our code block within the loop. So imagine, for example, that we want to process all of the files in the subdirectory on the web server. Well, we could check to see how many files there are and then loop through our code that amount of times. Now, if you're working with array variables, make sure that instead of using a for loop, you use a for each loop. The next type of loop is a while loop, where our code runs while a condition is true. Let's take a look at an example of each of these, starting with the for loop, specifically a for each loop, where in the first line of our example, we are creating a variable called cost centers. It's an array that contains three items, which are presumably cost center codes. Then we've got our for each loop, and in parentheses, we've got our cost centers variable as temp var. Now, we know what's in the cost centers variable, but what's temp var? It's a temporary variable. We can call it anything we want. It's a placeholder that will be used to process each individual item each time through the loop. So the first time through the loop, temp var will contain hfx-1. The second time through the loop, hfx-2, and so on. And with the for each loop construct, we have an open and close curly bracket, and our code goes between those. Here, we're just echoing back the cost center value. With a while loop, we need some kind of a condition that evaluates to true to keep the loop running. So in the first example here in our code, we've got file not there as a variable, and we're setting its value to true. Then we've got our while loop. Within parentheses, all we have is our variable name, file not there. So that's like saying while file not there equals true. It's kind of shorthand. Now it's going to equal true certainly the first time this code executes because we're setting it that way in the first line of our code. Just like a for each loop, the while loop has an open and a close curly bracket, and our code goes within those. So what our code is doing in our while loop in this case is we are setting the value of the file not there variable to the result of running a function called file exists, which checks for the existence of a file. In this case, we're looking specifically server side for a file called upload1.jpg. Now, if that file exists, then it's going to return a true. Otherwise, it returns a false. So while that file does not exist on the server, essentially this piece of code is simply going to keep checking until it is there. And this could be used, for example, if we're waiting for a certain type of upload from the client side. 